Hi there, this is a quick tutorial to show you how you can sync your collections between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC on a computer or a tablet or a phone. So Lightroom CC is the application that you would use for smaller editing jobs, smaller um, projects, that kind of thing. The Lightroom Classic is your workhorse. It's the Ferrari of the laptop, of the laptops, of the Lightrooms. It's what you're going to use for the bulk of your editing and for your file management of your thousands and thousands of pictures. So I'm in Lightroom Classic and you want to make sure you're signed in. So click on help and if it says sign in here, you need to sign in. I'm already signed in, so it says sign out. So make sure you're signed in. And then when you're signed in here, it's going you're over your nameplate, it should say Lightroom, um, Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. Now this is if you have a subscription service. If you don't, if you have Lightroom 4, 5, or 6, this is not going to work for you. So it needs to be the subscription service. This is one of the perks of having that. So you click on here on your nameplate and then turn choose turn on sync or sync with Lightroom CC. Mine is already turned on and it's and I've got it going. I can pause it if I want to. But that's how you turn the syncing on, start the sync going. Now, once it's you turn that sync on, it's not going to sync all of your pictures. You don't need to worry about that. It's not going to suddenly sync 30,000 pictures you've got in your library. It's, it's not going to do that. You have to choose which pictures you want to show up in those other um, applications from this one. Now, you can always pull in pictures. So if I'm on my, on my tablet, on my iPad, and I choose to pull in pictures from my photos, I can do that. Or if I'm in Lightroom CC down here, I can always pull in pictures from my folders on my um, Mac. But if we want to share pictures that are already in our library, then we can turn syncing on by just clicking the little box. So when I hover over the little box, little sideways lightning bolt is what it kind of looks like, it turns on. So these are already showing up in my Lightroom CC. So I'll come over here to Lightroom CC. Let's go to our albums. Okay. So we see like 2017 samples showing up. Family 2012. All those are, these are all the albums I have. All right. Now I've got other pictures. So you can see I've got 615, but they may not be in albums because they're pulling from, you know, I pulled them from who knows where. But these are the albums that are also showing up on my iPad, Lightroom on my iPad, and Lightroom on my phone. And I can choose another album. Now, they're called collections in Lightroom Classic. They're called albums in Lightroom CC. So if you're using Lightroom CC on your phone or your tablet, or even on your laptop or computer, whatever, it's going to show as albums. But how you turn it on is you just click on it. So say I want to do landscape samples. I click on that and now it's saying it's syncing. If I come to Lightroom CC, we'll give it a minute. It, um, it'll it depend on your internet, how fast it will happen. It could be sooner, could be a little bit later, but it'll eventually come show up. So we're just going to wait until landscapes shows up here. I bet there's a way to force it to, to sync and I just don't don't know that yet. There we go. Landscape samples. I don't have any pictures in it. <laughs> Do I actually sync one? There's nine. Okay. But I bet, no. Okay. If I don't have, they're not on right now. The photo is missing because there's no smart preview. So this, this is an album that's actually on my hard drive, external hard drives I don't have here. So this was not a good one. So maybe we'll do, um, let's see if skin tones. Oh, those are also missing. So let's see. We need to do one that. Okay. So we'll do maybe the eclipse. So these are here. They're I just don't have smart previews for them. So if you don't know what smart preview is, go to prettypresets.com and and search smart preview. These are all pictures that I actually have on an external hard drive that's not hooked up right now. And I don't have smart previews for them. So let's see if the eclipse will show up here. There we go. And it's populating the pictures here. Because these pictures are actually on uh, my hard, my laptop. So that's why they're coming in. 
All right, so, or actually these are, I think the other ones are not, so. But that, um, that's how you sync. Now again, if we, once you're done editing those pictures and you, you don't want them on your, uh, to show up in Lightroom CC, all you do is come back here and click it again and then it'll turn it off, all right? So if I want, like landscapes, I can just click, right? And it's gonna say, stop syncing this collection off to stop syncing. And what's lovely about the syncing is that any changes I make to any of these pictures, if I make it here in Classic, it's going to show up on my tablet or on the Lightroom CC on my laptop. It's going to show up. If I make an edit change on my phone in this collection that I'm syncing, it's going to show up on my iPad and it's going to show up on Lightroom CC on my laptop and Lightroom Classic. It's going to, it is going to, it's going to match that picture across all the devices. And so I think that's just uh, a fantastic um, and useful tool that Adobe has given us.